guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Maybelline's Lifter Glosses, which has finally launched in India and I picked these off of Nykaa. Now they have come out with four shades. I have all the four shades with me. Now for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. quickly go over with the features and the description of these glosses now it says that they provide an extra large wand for an easy application lasting hydration with hyaluronic acid non-sticky application now like I mentioned before they do offer only four shades currently right now in India and these are priced at 599 rupees so 5.4 grams of product so this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this transparent tube along with the nude cap and at the bottom you have is the shade name and number and this is how the doe foot applicator looks like, which is quite big and fluffy. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches. So let's quickly go over the formula, the pros and the cons. Now coming to the formula, it's a very nice, thick, smooth sort of a gloss. Now even though it has glitter particles on them, it is not grainy. Thank God because I do not like glosses which are grainy because of the glitter particles. And it gives a nice fuller look to your lips. It's not plumping but it makes your lips look fuller. These are not sticky or stringy you know when you press your lips together because there are some glosses which I have which do that and I do not prefer that at all. So these do not do that. These glosses do not make your lips feel heavy if that makes sense because there are some lip balms or some glosses which make your lip feel like there is something on your lips you know. So yeah. Now these are hydrate your lips and makes it feel soft. It's not like an alternative to a lip balm, but like, you know, for a daytime version of a lip balm, this is good. Even after it kind of fades off, your lips are left feeling soft. Now, since these are glosses, they do not last for a very long time, probably two to three hours. And also these are not transfer proof and I would never ever recommend them over a mask because inside your mask, it'll kind of smudge around, stick to your face. It will be it's not a good feeling at all. And last but not least, I love the doe foot applicator. It's nice, big and fluffy. And just with one single dip, you're able to cover your whole lips. 
and one huge pro that i forgot to mention is the fact that these are actually cheaper than in us so in us they are sold for like nine dollars and fifty cents and over here it is like 600 bucks quite cheap comparatively now coming to the FII, there are four quick points. The first point is that these do have a smell. Now it doesn't last for a long time, but it does have a strong vanilla, sweetish kind of a smell to it. So yeah, if you're sensitive to strong smelling stuff, then you may not like it, but then it does disappear after a while. The second point is that it does have a sweet taste to it when you lick your lips, which I don't mind, but yeah, FII. Now, if you have pigmented lips like mine, some of the shades may not show up that well, especially the first two shades that I was swatching, it did not show much of a difference. And the only shade that showed like a proper shade, it is this one, which is Petal. And Topaz as well did not show that much. But then if you have pigmented lips like mine, then choose wisely, so yeah. Oh, and talking about how sheer some of the colors I almost forgot to mention. So yeah, you can obviously work around it. So you can use it as a lip topper on top of any other lipstick if you've already bought it. Or you can also use it like a lip liner and then apply these. So yeah. Now the last FYI is that this is quite big and bulky. So when I ordered this and got it delivered, I did not expect it to be this big. It is quite big in my personal opinion for example so this is the elf gloss right next to it i know it's a completely different packaging but this is quite bulky but yeah it is kind of big now this is in comparison with the nyx butter gloss this is how the size difference is so yeah now again this is not a big deal but some of them prefer their makeup stuff to be a little bit more small and compact this is a bit on the bulkier side now for the cons there is only one point and that is the fact that they have come out with only four shades in india out of the 20 that they offer already they have launched this like two years late but they have come out with just four shades is pretty less so that's the only con in my personal opinion so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the maybelline lifter glosses and this rapture is video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try and best it for you as well as follow me on my socials visit on instagram and on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye